Hello everyone, this is Joker and welcome to my channel. And welcome to another Formula 1 newsflash. This is uh, the rubric that I'm using right now for Formula 1 news. Especially in response to the Corona outbreak, COVID-19. Uh, the first bulletin is F1 summer shutdown brought forward in response to the coronavirus outbreak. This means that basically the quarantine we're all experiencing right now is the summer shutdown for all factories instead of those in August, I believe. Uh, that means that if, and that's a really big if, everything goes better quickly we'll be seeing races being held during the summer break well that what used to be the summer break and it also means and that's not a big if that right now all the factory work has been stopped uh, which is kind of good news i mean it's not good news because of what's happening but it's good news despite what's happening because it keeps the playing field a little bit more level uh, it makes sure everyone has time to get the priorities around this uh, pandemic so yeah the whole calendar will be changing and going on to that the dutch spanish and even monaco grand prix are postponed that really ties into uh, well the summer break we have no idea how the calendar will turn out to be because it's a fluid situation it can change daily it's yeah it's our trying times it's our troubling times we have no idea how it all will uh yeah involve develop and the likes of that so please Keep an uh, eye out for uh, any major news updates on the Formula 1 website and the F FIA website. I can only give you the headlines. But as far as now, we have one cancelled and about five postponed. Although I have no idea if the Chinese one will have... Well, actually, the Chinese one now has more chance of going on because their outbreak is limiting. Yes, it's still not under control, but with all the news going about now, we have literally no idea how the new calendar will look like. It's never say never, it's even possible Melbourne will be back on the calendar, but it's unlikely. And then to the last bulletin points, FAA announced new F1 regulations to be delayed until 2020 this can have a few outcomes that means the whole 2020 schedule will be placed into 2021 or we will be erasing in 2021 with the current regulations still or we start somewhere racing at the end of the summer. I have no idea. And this season will go on into 2021. Or we have two short seasons or one short season, one long season. It's all speculation. But except for that the new regulations will only get into effect in until 2022. This will give the teams a bit more leeway in how to deal with the current situation. So yeah, those were the three uh, main news buttons that I wanted to bring to your attention. Uh, like I said, we have no idea how this all will uh, involve, develop, revolution and whatever. All fancy words, but we have a pandemic on our hands. So these are the major headlines for now. Uh, everybody, please stay safe. Stay indoors as much as possible. I know it's really annoying. If you have the Formula 1 TV app, you can watch old races. 
If you don't, there are still a few on YouTube, uh, but really, if you do not need to go out, stay indoors. Uh, social dist distancing, it sounds really annoying. It is really annoying, but it's really important. I don't know how long it will be before there is a cure or a vaccine, if herd immunity works or not. I'm no expert, but I do know if too many people get sick at once, the health authorities cannot handle it. It are trying times, it are troubling times. We need to do our best and everybody needs to do their thing, even if it is just staying at home when you can, if you can. So that was it for today. Uh, I wish you all well. Hope everybody stays safe, stays, he still stays healthy. And uh, see you all next time. Bye bye.